Okay, I don't know what day it is. This is a compilation of clips over the past uh, couple weeks, or I think it's been like 10 days since my last upload, so over the past 10 days. But here we got some squat footage working up doubles all the way up to 195 pounds. So finally decided to up the weight because we hit 185 for 10 reps and they felt pretty good. So I just decided, hey, time to bump up to 195. We'll start working doubles and as we um, go throughout the next few weeks probably, um, try to work up to 10 reps with 195 and then do the same thing. I've also got some pull-up footage from this same workout. We got 25 pounds. Um, I think we did 7 reps on pull-ups with 25 pounds. So that's pretty good because I don't know if I've ever done that many reps before um, with with weighted pull-ups. And after this, probably not the best time, but I did a just you know body weight only just to see how many pull-ups I could get. I think I got 12 or 13. I think I just got 12. Um, follow that up on another training day with some incline bench press. Still working with 135 pounds. We got six reps this time. A um, little bit up and down, inconsistent with making progress on the bench. So I decided that after this set and subsequent exercise, or not exercises, but subsequent chest workouts, um, doing incline bench, I'm just going to finish things off with a little, uh, not a back off set, but using the same, just do you know another set of as many reps as I can get and see if that little bit of extra volume transfers over. Also got some golf footage here. So... Um, I think I only got like nine holes worth of footage, but first shot pretty decent drew back to the left side of the rough and Hit one out of the rough Flew it past the green and hit this little bump and run with a pitching wedge off of the, uh, the Bottom of the side hill there. So three shots to get onto the green. I think this first hole is a par four So here's for par and first putt of the day didn't do any warm-ups or anything like that so and not only that, but these greens are in pretty rough shape in certain areas. So, end up taking a three putt, which puts us down for a double bogey on the first hole. But, uh, you know, I felt good, especially because I, again, didn't warm up or take any practice um, putts or anything like that. Then on the second hole, nice drive gets us to the center of the fairway and then hit a nice nine iron that actually bounces off the hill on the right side over there and it ends up on the right side of the fairway. I think because of that big giant bounce that we got, it actually went like 165 yards, which is pretty crazy for a nine iron, at least for me. Um, we hit a pitching wedge. It went a little bit further than I expected over there on the far hill, but we hit a really solid bump and run type of shot. Or actually, no, I think, yeah, yeah. Um, hit that and then got it pretty close to the hole and then finished this off here with a putt. So up and down on that one pretty sweet and I think we'll finish off with a bogey on this hole so double bogey to bogey um, here I decided to take a seven iron because the hole in the fairway is just a little bit tighter compared to uh, the first two areas that I played but I end up hitting a bit of uh, an overdraw or hooked that ball with the iron which is not what I was expecting and then hit a couple of poor wedge slash iron shots um, to follow that up and so I think we're already on our fourth stroke here, going for five on another par four right here. So this would be for bogey, and I don't think I make this one. I think it gets pretty close. Yeah, it actually went like right past the left side of the hole, um, just burning the edge there, and then knock that one down for another double bogey. So we got double, and then a bogey followed by another double. Um, hit a really nice. Um, five wood here because that's been the most reliable club in terms of getting off the tee and I'm staring at that ball because it pretty much took off like a rocket and I lost track of it but it went solid 240 yards and rolled up the left side of the fairway um, but follow that up with a sketchy wedge shot or I'm sorry a sketchy iron shot that put me down at the bottom of the hill and then the first one I hit didn't have enough juice to get up the hill and then the second one that I hit barely even made it onto uh, the fringe there and we had to bump it onto the green and finish off with a putt. Um, this is a par three, hit it fat. It actually ends up at the edge of that dirt down there in the middle and then luckily bounces up onto, uh, I guess you would call it a fairway on a par three. <laughs> but we're able to bump that up onto the green and then have a really close putt, pretty solid speed, and then we take a bogey on this hole. 
Hitting a little bit of driver here just to see what it'll do. And it goes pretty decent, left side of the rough. And then we had a really weird line there, so I tried to knock it out with a pitching wedge. Didn't go so well, and then we follow that up with a goofy nine iron. But I did hit this 58 degree to try to get it up into the air, and that actually gets us on the left side of the green. So just past the pin there. Um, well, not just past the pin, but definitely quite a bit past the pin. But hit a really solid um, first putt, and it was knocked down the second one. Another solid hit here with the five wood off of the tee, uh, the, off of the tee box, and right down the center of the fairway. Also have a really, really nice um, iron strike there that goes just a little bit too far to the left side and I have to pitch it out of uh, underneath the tree there, get it close to the green, and hit a, a little bit of a funky putt because it hopped there in the beginning, but pretty solid speed overall. We're hitting off the edge of the grass there, so didn't really know what it was going to do, but we knocked that down, two putt. Or I guess technically that was a one putt. Um, this one was really funny, so my 100 yard club, and this is a 100 yard par 3, is my 52 degree wedge. And I've been doing, you know, making some swing tweaks and that kind of stuff, and ended up flying over the green about 115 yards. But, hey, we chipped it up there and knocked down the putt, and that's a really nice up and down for par. There's me doing my best Scotty Scheffler impersonation with a 5 wood, but this one was awesome. Um, another one right down the center of the fairway and we follow that up with a really really good nine iron shot that put us on the back left side of the green and then I was going to hit this one but my camera died.